Welcome to 5 Minutes to Code, Programming Basics, with your host, Matthew C. Applegate. In this series, we are going to look at the fundamentals of computer programming. So whether you are hoping to program in Python, to code in C-sharp, or to develop in Java, these short guides should help you get to grips with the basics. You won't need to download or install any software, so just sit back and enjoy. In this series, we are going to be looking at binary, hexadecimal, data storage, logic gates, and logic circuits. Today, we are looking at binary. Let's look at this in more detail. In our everyday life, we use a number system called denary, zero to nine. This is referred to as a base 10 system, and the units, the ones, tens, a hundreds, and a thousands, etc., increase by the power of 10. Say, 10 times one is 10, 10 times 10, is 100 and so on. Computers, however, use a number system called binary, 0 to 1. This is referred to as base 2 system, and its units, the 1s, 2s, 4s, and 8s, etc., increase by the power of 2. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and so on. Computers use a base 2 system as it is based on whether 1 current is flowing through the circuit or 0 current is not flowing through a circuit. Let's look at a denary number and use that to convert it into 8-bit binary. In 8-bit binary, the maximum value we can store is 255. So how about 138? So let's create a grid. Okay, first up, how many 128s are there in 138? There's one, so we put a one here. Now subtract 128 from 138 and that gives us 10. We then move along to how many 64s there are in 10? 0. We then move along to how many 32s there are in 10? 0. We then move along to how many 16s there are in 10? 0. And we then move along to how many 8s there are in 10? There's 1. We then subtract 8 from 10 which gives us 2. We then move along to how many 4s there are in 2? There's zero. We then move along how many twos there are in two. There's one. We now subtract the two and we have zero. We then move along to how many ones there are in zero and there are zero. And that is our binary number. It is one zero 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 one zero one zero. And that is our binary number. Let's try it again with 195. Okay, first up. How many 128s are there in 195? 1. So we put a 1 here. Now subtract 128 from 195. That gives us 67. We then move along to how many 64s are there in 67? There are 1. That leaves us with 3. Now we can go through the 32s, the 16s, the 8s and the 4s, but we know there's not going to be any in there, so we can just mark them all as 0. We then move along to how many 2s are there in 3, and there's 1. We now have 1 left. We then move along to how many 1s there are in 1, and there's 1. And that is our binary number. Now let's try and convert from binary to denary. Okay, how about 1001010100? Let's put that into the grid. So it has 128. 064s, 0 032s, 116, 08s, 14, 02s, and 01s. So that would be 128 plus 16 plus 4, which is 148. Just for practice, try and convert these numbers yourself. Pause the video and then unpause when you have completed them. How many did you get right? Leave the answers in the comments below. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment below if you found it useful. If you want to get started in programming right away, be sure to check out my computer art programming tutorials here. Until next time, thanks for watching 5 Minutes to Code.